Hi guys and welcome back to another Build a House video. I'm Angel Simmer and in today's video I've got a beautiful, quaint, humble little starter home you could say. It's in a 25 by 25 lot but it's got plenty of greenery around it. I just love how it turned out. It's very Sims 1 inspired and you'll see what I mean later on but um, first half of me building the house didn't actually save and I was gutted but I do have the second half and a bunch of pictures in the end so please stay tuned for that. So let's get in and as you can see right now i'm doing the living room which is near the entrance just doing the desk and stuff and i've got a tv a couch bookshelf nothing too much in this room this whole house is very simple like my previous house it doesn't have much detail i tried to relax on the wall art as you can see it's not too 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 much but um i did have to add a little bit you know i like my sims to enjoy it uh i have basically created the landscape and the blueprint of the house whenever I begin doing a house I very very rarely actually draw it out first this was created off the top of my head as always and yeah as you can see the house is definitely not complete but um we're just continuing to do it now and you are getting to see the second half of the footage but it is a two floor house but upstairs there isn't much so everything's majority downstairs but the beauty of this house is you can extend it like crazy it's there's so much room upstairs to the sides you know even back towards the garden there's a lot of room and it has quite a few it has sorry quite a few balconies as well but right now I'm just doing the two bathrooms that this house has like I said it's for me when I was making this house I imagined this house to be for a starter a starter home for a couple but um not like a very you know just out of the blue couple more like one that is with their family and they want to move out you know they're newlyweds or something and they do have quite a bit of money and they find this beautiful lot and move in it's not too expensive but you know it's just an adequate amount and yeah like I said it's a 25 by 25 lot so you can imagine it's not too 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 large and um, you have to keep in mind that I don't have too much oh glimpse of the kitchen yay uh, you need to keep in mind that I did not add much character to this house I know in my other house I went a bit overboard you can also check that out if you haven't seen it already but this is a contrast to that and yeah just trying to figure out the staircase area and it is Sims 1 inspired you know especially the goth household from Sims 1 you know it's got one single brown staircase and it goes up to a floor that has one room of course I've got a full way um, a hallway but this room is kind of like a guest room a guest bedroom but of course you know maybe when I play with it in the future which I will it will turn into something else maybe a kids room a possible recreational room you know a music room an art studio a tattoo salon I don't know it could be anything you want you know and it has a little balcony as well I put that in after but um it's quite a scary room because as you can see it's got a washer and a dryer as well in the room it's kind of not that separated and I've got blinds and curtains throughout um, just because they look cheap and I don't want the house to look too done up I tried to use as much simple furniture as I could um, and I just think it turned out pretty nice I'm really excited to play with this house um, for me I wouldn't start with this house I'm saying start a home but it would be maybe if I had some sims and then end up getting married and but yeah I could see um, Myra and Samuel just moving into this house you know they've got a bit of money it's not their first house it's their third house but um well Sam's third house but you get my drift if you just want to move out get away want a family to feel like a family you know there's even room for a baby just go for it and yeah I'm just working on the outside of the house now I'm basically done just adding in a grill and a little pizza oven because I love the pizza oven it's so good and yeah we're pretty much done now it's time for the pictures okay this is a shot from the outside of the house I'm just obsessed with this house I love how it turned out the colors it's very Sims 1 in that sense you know the single door single staircase one bedroom downstairs you know it's not too much going on you know it's just very simple very quaint very humble and like I said there's not too much to it it's just a simple house to get on with now moving on to the entrance I didn't take very good pictures of the entrance because it was quite difficult not because it's small but yeah 
we have a little sitting area you see outside it's quite nice and this picture is terrible but uh, it's the only picture I have of the staircase from the downstairs and we have a fish bowl as well and when we move into the kitchen and dining room it's all in one very nice you know it's not um, together no it's not separated <laughs> It's not separated just by a little bit of a half wall and I love the theme of the kitchen. You know, the creams, the browns and the very nice baby blues. It's very um, in fashion, <laughs> the blue and um, not that that matters to Sims, but I just thought it turned out very nice. It's got a little stereo there as well and I've got, I put in the deep fryer and there isn't a dishwasher and a trash disposer. It's just very, you know, you got to work hard in this house. Not everything's just given to you. Now this is the main um, guest, I would say, bathroom downstairs, um, just off of where the couch is in the entrance. Uh, it's pretty nice, just a simple shower. Um, yeah, there's not much to it. I like the black and white to it. Now this is the living room. This is the main living room. It's just a nice area to work, to relax, to read. It's just a living room themes pretty nice as well I kind of designed the wallpaper myself and it took me a bit of time to figure out what I wanted but I do like the dark greys I didn't really want to go in that direction but um, it kind of just worked and it felt right for this house one room looks kind of modern out of all of them and now we are moving into the bedroom this is the couple's bedroom I would say or if you have one sim living on their own this would be their room it's pretty pretty nice you know the browns the reds the greens again it's just um, it's nice I like the bed like I said the furniture isn't very expensive furniture it's pretty humble it's not too much it's just the necessities and then we have two doors one leading off to the balcony the mini little it's not really a balcony just a little outside area again since so one inspired and the other one is the bathroom and here is the little balcony quote unquote it's just on the same floor it's very nice it reminds me of sims 1 there isn't really much to do it's just like a little area to step out for a minute i honestly i just purely forgot to add anything there not even lights but you can go ahead and add a bench chair extend it add a hot tub i don't know whatever you want and this is the couples the master bedroom the only bedroom only main bedrooms um bathroom it's black and white again but it's got a pop of color you know the toilet seat the tub kind of and just a little plant that inspired me it's like a bright blood red orange it's pretty nice there's not much to it and yeah same checkered floor now going back out into the hallway this I love this shot this is probably a, a better much better shot than the first shot that I took of the stairs and yeah this is the little hallway you I doubt the sims would miss most of the time they even need to come upstairs I at first was never a fan of having two floors just because I found it really difficult to go up and down I liked everything being wide and widely spread on one floor but I added a second floor again because of the goth house it inspired me and when you walk in this is what you see a washer and dryer a ghost mirror a very crappy little lamp and some really odd looking blinds just very simple very um why did the walls look different? I don't know, but it's kind of scary if you ask me. The only reason they'd come upstairs really is to uh, do the laundry. But yeah, looking from that angle here, we see just the entrance of the room. Just some creepy little pictures, a bookshelf, you know, nothing too much. Even like detergent and stuff and used brushes on the dresser. As you can see, not much care has been put into the room. It's a nice kind of mauve-ish light navy color i don't know how to describe it but it works well with the creams and the crappy little bread and i love the fish above the bed it's all pretty creepy and my voice is going oh my god <clears throat> but yeah that's that room and that goes off to a little balcony as well it's kind of diagonal to the little outside area the uh, the bedroom leads off to downstairs and it just works it's pretty nice but i did put lights on this one I did remember to do that and now when we go back downstairs next to the staircase we actually have a door that leads out into this private little um, outside area 
you know got a bench got lots of colorful flowers just making it as homely as I can and then we have this little area where you could actually put a hot tub I was thinking I would but then I knew definitely I wanted to have more of a cooking area so the guests was in, would enjoy some hot dogs some burgers some fish and chips some pizza some lasagna whatever the tickles their fancy and this is something that I thought I'd do I took a shot from the trees <laughs> from a bird's eye kind of view and it's just nice it's it's like a private little area for a couple and here's a long shot extreme long shot of the house again similar to the one you saw at the beginning and here we move on back as what I was trying to explain about the two little balconies you know one overlooks the other it's very nice I do like that and this is the entrance of the house where the driveway and, and the mailbox and stuff is and yeah and you can see the balloon and the river of the river view in the distance and yeah some night shots from the outside again nothing too fancy nothing too shabby about this house very calm very classic to me and I don't see many houses like this in the Sims 3 so I thought I'd go ahead and add one in this house will be available for download sooner or later it probably isn't at the moment of time of its uploading but uh yeah I just wanted to say thank you for watching I apologize for the first half of the video not being there but you've got the gift of the house let me know if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave any requests you have for sims you'd want me to make, reviews of any products from the store you want me to do, or any houses you want me to build. But once again, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye!